everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. And like the title says, it's time for tea. Also, at the end of this video, you will find out who won last week's tea giveaway as part of my birthday week celebration. I did already take the clip of that. I'm going to stick it at the end, and then you will know. So watch till then, and then when you see it afterwards, you know, congratulate the winner in the comments. Just saying. It's always a good time. Today's tea, I don't have the packet for. However, it was a gift from wonderful Lisa Ladybird Loves. This is biscuit tea. It smells lovely. And it's one of those that doesn't have a tea bag, so I couldn't use my little clippy doodah thing to hold it up. I'll have to use a spoon to get the bag out. I put the timer on to steep it for five minutes because I didn't know how long to steep it. There were no instructions, but that just seemed like a good amount of time. And it's looking lovely. It's a beautiful black tea. It smells so nice. I haven't added anything to it yet. Um, I do have some generic vanilla creamer to add to it afterwards, but after I taste it without. And I also have some generic stevia to add to it to sweeten it after I taste it without again. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about as far as last week goes, I was off work the entire week and it was my birthday week. June is my birthday month, however, and I do celebrate all month long. <laughs> but uh, I did have giveaways for pretty much every day and there are, there are still some going on as long as you're watching this before the end of this week, you still have a chance to get out and win some goodies. That beep you just heard was my five minute timer for tea steeping. And if you hear some other noises, this is a house, it's not a studio, obviously. The hubby is cooking me some lunch so I can sit here and enjoy some tea. There you go. Now I'm going to fish this tea bag out of here with a spoon. Let it drain just a smidge here. Give it a little, a little teeny smoosh. You never want to really smush your tea bags and, uh, you know, to get all the liquid out because then you may end up with some bitterness, what I've been told. So I just give them a little smoosh so they're not all drippy drippy and then I put it on a plate or a saucer or whatever you have. I'm not fancy enough to have a saucer. I got a little plate, okay? Now, has to be cool enough so I don't burn my face off. It smells wonderful though. You realize if I really like this tea, I'm going to end up having to order some from Amazon or something from overseas because they don't sell it here. Hmm. It's a nice tea. Now, I have to sweeten it though. Got to give it a little something something. And oh, by the way, Lisa, I'm finding stars. And I know that Jane says that she put a curse on these stars. So we, they will keep multiplying and we'll keep finding them forever. That should be fun. You could send some back. Yeah, the hubby just said I could send some back. Which, you know, that's not a bad idea. Hmm. Alright, got the sweetener. It's pretty much dissolved in there. That uh, all these stevia dissolves very nicely in a cup of tea. So, works for me. Oh, I like it with the sweetener. Mmm. I love a good black tea anyway. But I don't get where they're saying that it tastes like biscuits or anything. It's a lovely tea. I would definitely drink it. Let's add some uh, vanilla to it here. And see. Oh, wait. We have to look at it when it happens, though, right? I do love to watch the creamer going through the tea or coffee. That's just a beautiful sight. Anyhow. <laughs> and I will leave this over here where the hubby can reach it for his tea because he has a cup over there too. And now you can actually more easily see that my mug says relax. That was weird. That was an interesting effect. That almost looks like an Instagram effect, doesn't it? But my mouth is up near my eyeballs. That was very strange. It's a Monday. It's going to be strange. 
my first day back at work in a week. So of course I come back to chaos. You know, I was expecting it. Hmm. Let's see if I can drink it without it burning my face off because that is quite nice. I keep thinking I hear vehicles coming up the driveway, but there's nothing there. It's very odd. That is a nice black tea, but I'm not getting the biscuit. Or I would imagine, because British biscuits are cookies for us, I'm not getting the essence, the eau de day cookie or biscuit which surprises me a little bit it is nice tea though you know I call this little video thing that I do on Mondays time for tea because I think that you should always Take a little bit of time for yourself, even if it's just the time to have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a glass of lemonade, whatever your beverage of choice, just to sit down away from the noise and the chaos of whatever's causing you stress today. Be that work, be that, you know, kids or cats or whatever. And just relax. Take some time for you. Enjoy a few sips. And, uh... Don't <laughs> The hubby says contemplate your navel. Uh, yeah, my navel's got nothing to do with it. I'm just going to relax. <laughs> Enjoy my tea. And hopefully I will see you very, very soon. Stay tuned. That winner's draw is coming straight up. Bye, y'all. Okay, I'm going to try to hold this steady. This is the URL from my tea giveaway video from last week. I have filtered duplicate users, filtered comments based on a specific text. Uh, that is the word steep. That was what I was asking you to do in the video. And um, I have performed the math that they asked for. Now for get YouTube comments. Let's see how many people. 38 people answered and did all the things. Okay, you also had to be uh, subscribed to my channel. So I'll check that um, here after we start. Click start and let's see who we get. Verna Bradshaw. <laughs> you had to be 22 again. Absolutely. Um, my son told me not to steep longer than recommended time or it becomes bitter. It does. If you go too long, it does definitely become bitter. I'm pretty sure that you are subscribed to my channel. As a matter of fact, yes. So we will double check though, just for YouTube's sake. Let's go to channels. Easiest way to do this is to like scroll all the way down through all of them. Boy, she's like me. She subscribes to a bunch of folks because that's what we do. And then I go control F to bring up the find. And start typing B-E-B. And there I am. Yes, she subscribed to me. Of course she is. I interact with Ms. Verna all the time. So congratulations, Verna. Um, shoot me an email. And um, with your uh, mailing information again, because I know I've said to <laughs> prizes to you before, but congratulations to you. Thanks to everybody for playing along. And don't forget, you still have plenty of time to enter some more of those giveaways this week. Bye, y'all.